Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to easily remove the background from your images and photos using the Canva Background Remover tool. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. If you're a designer, then you know how important it can be to remove backgrounds from certain images to create your designs. Removing the background from your images can help you create awesome custom artwork, erase unwanted elements, and provide a transparent background for the designs you upload to t-shirts and other print-on-demand products. With the Canva Background Remover tool, you can quickly remove the background from the images or photos in your project with a single click. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use the Canva Background Remover tool to remove backgrounds from your images to create your own custom designs or artwork. But in order to use the Canva Background Remover tool, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. If you aren't signed up for Canva Pro yet, go ahead and click the link in the video description to try it out free for 30 days. Once you sign up, you'll not only have access to the Background Remover tool, but also thousands of pre-made t-shirt design templates, premium graphics, and tons of other tools and features to help you grow your business. So go ahead and click the link in the video description to access Canva Pro and let's head over to the Canva website. So here's the Canva homepage. The first thing we're gonna do is create a new project. To do this, let's look up at the top right and click on the Create a Design button. This will open up a drop-down menu where you can put in custom dimensions for your project. I typically create t-shirt designs, so I like my projects to be at least 3000 by 3000 pixels so it looks good on t-shirts and other products. Anything less than that might look a little blurry or pixelated. Once you've selected your project size, go ahead and click the Create New Design button. This should open up a brand new Canva project where you can edit and create your design. Now that I've created my project, let's see if we can find an image to use to create a cool design. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you'll see a tab called Elements. Go ahead and click that now. This will open up a menu where you can search through tons of different photos, graphics, videos, and audios that are available in the Canva library. For this example, I think I'll make a design about outer space. So let's go up to the search bar here and search for planets. In the results, you'll see all sorts of photos, graphics, and other elements that are associated with the keyword planets. For my design, I'm only looking for a photo, so let's click the Photos tab up top here. This will narrow down the search results to show only the photos that are associated with the keyword planets. Canva has thousands of images that you can use to create your artwork. Feel free to take your time and browse through the search results to find the perfect image for your design. They have free images available, but to access all the images in the Canva library, you're gonna need a Canva Pro account. So for my design, I think I'll go with this Canva Pro image here. Once you find your image, simply click it to add it to your project. There we go. Let's use the slider down here at the bottom to make my template a bit bigger so we can get a better view. Now that I have an image for my project, let's go over how to use the Canva Background Remover tool. Make sure you have your image selected, then look up at the top menu and click on the Effects tab. This will open up a menu where you can add all sorts of effects to your image and also access the Background Remover tool. So with my image selected, let's click the Background Remover and see what happens. And voila! My background has been removed, leaving only the planets on my template. As you can see, the Background Remover works extremely well, but I only want to use the planet Saturn. So let's go over how to easily remove the other planets from my template. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you'll see you have the option to select an erase brush and a restore brush. To remove my planets, let's select the erase brush. With the erase brush selected, simply drag over the areas that you want to erase from your template. If you need to adjust the size of your brush, simply use the slider here on the left hand side. You can make your brush bigger to erase large chunks of area, or make it smaller to get the fine details. So let's go ahead and erase all the other planets from my template. If you're using the erase brush and you accidentally erase something that you didn't want to remove, they also provide you with the restore brush. So to restore the part of the planet that I just accidentally erased here, let's click the restore brush. You can then use your restore brush to fill in any areas that you might have accidentally erased. 
Now that I have my planet Saturn for my design, let's go up top here and click on Done. To confirm your changes, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click on the blue Apply button. Now that I've removed the background and the other elements from my image, I can now resize, move, and edit the image any way I like. So we've gone over how to remove the background from an image you get from the Canva library. So now let's go over how to upload our own image and remove the background. To upload your own image to your Canva project, look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the Uploads tab. Here's where you can upload new media to your Canva project and view all your previously uploaded media. To add a new image to our project, let's click on the Upload Media button. Since my image is stored on my computer, I'm going to select the Device option. I can then find and open up the image I want to use for my project. Once your image finishes uploading, go ahead and click it to add it to your template. Let's move my Saturn planet up to the corner here so it's not hidden behind my other photo. So for the photo I just uploaded, I'm going to remove the background to leave just this planet Earth here. Just like before, make sure you have your photo selected, then go up to the Effects tab, then click on Background Remover. And just like magic, the background should then be removed from the main object in the image. Feel free to use your erase or restore brush if needed, then go down to the bottom and click on apply. Your changes should then be saved, leaving you with a brand new graphic to use for your design. If you're a designer, artist, or print on demand seller, you can now use your new graphics and the Canva tools and features to create an awesome new custom design. Canva has tons of graphics, tools, and features to help you create awesome designs and even provides you with thousands of pre-made design templates that you can use to quickly get started. If you're creating a t-shirt design or something that requires a transparent background, first remove any background images that you may have added to your design, then go up to download, then select the transparent background option. You'll have to select the checkbox here to export your image with transparency, but in order to export with a transparent background, you'll need a Canva Pro account. Once you've selected to export your image with a transparent background, go ahead and click on the download button. Your new image will then be downloaded to your computer and you can then add your new design to your t-shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, or other print on demand products or any other project that you might be working on. So that's a quick overview of how to use the Canva background remover tool and how to export your images with a transparent background. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.